teaching in Brookline since 1980. The years of Robert, Robert Sperber, the golden years. Um, I know that there were different contract negotiations happening between, and they were difficult between school committee and the union at those during <coughs> those years. But at the end of the day, there was always a feeling of a mutual respect yeah. between the school committee and the teachers. And I have taught the children of two current school committee members, and I work, have worked as a colleague with one school committee member, present school committee member. That history is all good, and I love that history. But fast forward to 2016, and some of you may have known, I've been in the, in the audience, I haven't spoken, but I've been in the audience several times this year and last year. I don't know what has happened to the town of Brookline yes. Public School School Committee. You haven't treated the teachers or the parents with respect when they have voiced their concerns and needs. The last meeting I was at, I noticed several people were on their cell phones. Tonight, you're not, thank you. Bravo. Um, it doesn't look like or feel like you care about our opinions. I'm trying to figure out, I really am trying to figure out what has changed and why. I can't figure it out. Unless you truly think, and I really don't want to believe this, but unless you truly think that teachers and parents know very little about what makes good teaching. I ask you school committee members, listen to us, listen to the teachers, listen to the parents, and treat us well. Like school committees, they did that, like school committees did back in the day. And you know what? Please move on with a fair contract and more pay for the parents. Thank you.